Hello everyone, it's Zaxxon here. In this training tutorial, we are going to learn Kung Fu Wu Su from the middle form called Five Step Fist Wu Bu Quan, also known as Five Stances Fist. So if you are going to learn Kung Fu Wu Su, about 99% you are going to learn this form first. So this form is not too long, it's quite short. And this form has five fundamental stances of Kung Fu. That's why it's called Five Step Fist. So if you're good at this form, later on when you're learning other forms or weapons will become much easier. Okay, let us enjoy some demonstration first. <coughs> Okay, everyone, now let us start our training. So first, we are going to go through all of the stances from this form. Let's do it together. The first stance go crouching stance, pull bu. Leg out. For beginners, if you cannot put your heel down, you can tip your toes. If you can, try to put the heel down and foot rooted. Okay, rooted. Like this. Don't be like this. Rooted. Okay? The second stance is bow stance. Gong bu. Like straight, rooted, about 90 degree. Your knee cannot be over your toes. The weight in the center. Okay? That's the second stance. The third one is horse stance. Ma bu. So if you don't know how wide you're going to open with your legs, you can try like this. One, two, three. Toes pointing a bit out to the other direction. Not straight forward. Okay, just like this. And crouch flat is a standard one. So think about a horse stance. It's like horse riding. It, that there's an invisible horse here. You don't want to be too close. Like this, the horse is dead. It's not horse stance anymore. Okay, so next one, the fourth one, resting stance. Tip your toes, on your toes, and crouch, crouching down, resting stance. Shear bu, shear bu means you can rest. Your knees not on, a, on the floor, on the ground, okay? Your knees not on the ground, resting stance. And the fifth one is empty stance. So empty stance, a bit challenge. Now let's give it a try. If I'm going to crouch on my right leg, my right foot, toes pointing out about 45 degrees. And I crouch on this leg. Empty stance means the front leg is empty. So like this. Between two legs, between two legs, there's one fist this thing. Okay, cannot be too wide like this. One face or one and a half, depends on you. Crouch like this. On your toes, turn a bit inwardly. Not too much, not like this. A bit, okay? You can crouch a bit lower first. Sorry, you can crouch a bit higher first. And when you're getting better, you can crouch lower. Okay? So, that's all of the stances. Now, let us combine our arms together. Now, let us divide it, this form into three parts. So, let's start with the first part. Combine our arms together with the stances. We are doing slow motion. Left leg out. Hands out. Open your arms with your shoulder width. Cannot be too wide, all right? And hold your fist. So, Hold your face, it's like this. Use your thumb to lock between index finger and your middle finger. Make sure it's a solid fist, 
not empty. Okay, each day is not empty. All right, now let's start. And then hold your fist next to your waist. Take up your elbows. Do me like this. Keep your body straight up, take up, take up your elbows like this. Also, you can use our self defense if someone trying to grab you from the back. You use your elbows to strike. All right. And then hold your fist at the same time you look left. When you look at left, don't be like this. Drop your shoulder. So this is train your head to look back and look right. In a combat, you cannot look back like this. Right? You have to pop, look back. Do me like this. Okay, be relaxed. Let's start from the beginning. Face ready. And next, use your left hand to push. Push like this. If someone give a punch, block the block the punch. Okay? And leg up, toes pointing down. In Kung Fu, whenever you level leg up, toes pointing down. Except special move, you hook your foot. Next is crouching stance and chop hand. Crouching stance, chop hand. This is like a chop kick. Chop kick. Don't kick like this. Chop kick is like kick with a side wing. <sighs> Who can use as chop kick? You can see. Chop. <laughs> chop kick. All right. Chop kick with chop hand together at the same time. And then next, both stands, punch. It's to this direction. Both stand, punch. The challenge part is from crouching stance, how can you get up? You lend your weight forwardly and use this energy to give you power for your punch. <laughs> See? All right, that's the first part. Now, let's come back together with the first part. In slow motion, Okay, now let's move on to the second part. Second part from both stand punch and kick punch slowly. Snap kick. You don't need to kick it too high in this form. Just kick with your hip level. Hip level. Snap. Pop. And land as whole stance punch. Fist to this direction. Horse and horse punch is like this. This arm you can use as block to put your head. Put your head. Or use as bring someone, someone give you a punch, grab the fist, bring back, punch. <laughs> okay? Or you can use as coordination training. Next. Face next to your waist, this is your right arm pressing down as block. If someone give you a punch like this, you block. Block, okay? And down as resting stand, punch. So that's the second part. Now let's combine the second part together from both steps. Take a punch. Horse stand, horse stand punch. Okay, let's move on to the third part. So the last part, we are, we are from, we are from the resting stance. Up, turn, like a sneak hand, or step. Fingers together, bend your thumb. Step. 
toes pointing down, crouching stance, and chop kick. Step your hand to that direction. Go forward the knee. Hook. In Kung Fu, hook is fingers together. There's one point, right? Hook. Go, go, go in Mandarin. Forward the knee. Hook. And crouching stance. Sorry. Empty stance. Push. And finish. Okay. Please be aware of. We are doing like this. Sometimes there's another way to do it is like this. Go forward the knee, doing empty stance on this side. Okay? All good. Okay, it's all good. Now we're gonna come out all of the moves together with slow motion. I face to this direction first. And then try with this direction. Let's try it together. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Happy training, happy life. We'll see you next time.